But uh, as I said, it looks like uh, CEOs are getting a little bit more confident as growth uh, gains traction across the globe. Are you seeing the same picture in South Africa as we are seeing globally? Yes, we are. In, uh, in, in terms of growth, 88% uh, of global CEOs are having very, very positive views about uh, South Africa uh, globally uh, uh, in the next 12 months, and about 94% over the next three years. And, and it's a similar reflection in South Africa. So South, Africa is pretty, uh, South African CEOs are pretty bullish about growth over the next year as well as the next three years. Why does it improve over a three-year basis? Uh, are people still uncertain about how strong growth could be this year? I think you know people take a medium term view and you know you may have immediate challenges but you sort of iron them out over the short term and so people do have a much more optimistic view over a longer period of time. Now just looking through this survey it seems some countries more confident than others and PwC picks out India, China and Thailand in the east, a few Latin American com uh, countries and also Austria which is surprising I would think because of all the austerity measures mm -hmm. going down in the European Union at this stage. Wh wh why are we seeing pockets of more confident countries? I, I think what it is, it's, it's bit the difference between developed economies and developing economies or emerging economies. Uh, the growth in, in, in developed economies is a lot more slower at the moment than, than developing economies and the focus is, is, is on, on, on emerging economies and that's why the prospects uh, for future growth in emerging economies is a lot stronger and more upbeat. South Africa is a strange one though because we seem to sit between the two because we're not quite seeing the growth that we are seeing in some of the, the faster growing emerging markets and particularly around Africa as well and yet we're doing slightly better than most of the developed countries aren't we? Yes, yes we are doing a lot better than the developed countries but not, not, not achieving the levels of growth like China and India are achieving, uh, you know, which is around about 10 percent. But you know, we've got a lot going for us as, as a country. I mean, we have, have very strong fiscal discipline. We've had a good monetary system here. And, and government's got to be congratulated in that particular area for what they've achieved in, that, in, in those areas. I think some of the challenges remain. You know, we've still got skills shortage issues. Uh, you know, but, but I think there's, there's, there's a lot of upbeat about growing into other markets uh, and, and also just that the, the biggest area of growth that still seems to be there is the existing markets. There's, there's a few view by CEOs that there's a lot of penetration still within and a lot of uh, opportunity still in the existing market. Um, so, so, so that's why South African, you know, it's, it's pretty upbeat. Well, what are the biggest concerns that South African CEOs have about growth and about the economy in South Africa? I th the biggest one is the skills shortage and it, 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 uh, it, it, it's kind of a twin dilemma that South Africa has because it's on, on, on the one hand you have huge unemployment and then you have a skills shortage. So it's about the development of, of skills and, and I think that one of the key things that are coming out of the survey this year is that uh, CEOs are very, very committed uh, to develop that talent uh, and talent management, uh, particularly on attract attraction of good talent, development of talent and retention of talent is very, very high up on, on CEOs' agendas at the moment and, and they're very committed to that, uh, the survey clearly reveals that most CEOs are going to have a significant change in strategy in that particular area. Are we getting to the sort of confidence levels within the business community where we, we are going to see more hiring, so something which would push those unemployment levels down? Yeah. O over 70 percent of CEOs uh, have said that they've not, not reduced their workforce over the past 12 months. And about 38% of CEOs are saying that they will be ex expanding their workforce over the next 12 months. So I think it's an upbeat message from that, from that, pers from that perspective. I think some of the drivers around it are infrastructure development. Uh, we see huge amounts of, 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 the, of that happening. I think some of the, the, the benefits of the World Cup in, in terms of tourism uh, coming and in, in, in lifting up as well. So I think those are all areas that's going to create, create uh, employment. I think but one of the key challenges remains uh, we need some labor reform uh, in labor policies uh, we, we just have some very sophisticated la labor 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 practices and, and that you know if, if we understand uh, where growth in employment really comes it comes from the small business sector and there, there, there's a perception that there's too much of regulation in that particular area to, in, to let small businesses really thrive was over regulation something that was typical to the South African survey or is that something we're seeing globally? I think we've seen that globally. I think in South Africa last year when we did the survey specifically in South Africa, the, the perception of, of regu over regulation was much higher. Uh, it was about 77 percent, this is about 65 percent. So I think that it, it's waning down. As, as the uh, recession wanes out, I think there's, there, there's and, and people see what's happening, particularly with the regulation in terms of financial institutions and that. I think the South African uh, financial institutions are fairly well regulated, so I, says, I see that they, 
you know, the, 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 the sentiment of, of more regulation in the data seems to be waning. So, Ash, how about talk about nationalization? That's something that's been on the agenda for a, for a year or so, more government involvement in the private sector as well. Is that something that was raised by the, the local CEOs? I, I think it was raised. Uh, you know, the, the, reg uh, the, the mining issue, the issues around the mining industry have been raised. Uh, and, and just yet in that context, the, the issue about political stability, uh, not only in the home territories where they're operating, but a lot of the, the, CEO, the companies that we, that we, that we interviewed, uh, particularly there was about 80% of them were listed companies operate in foreign markets as well. And they see political instability even in other territories. So it's not just a local issue, but the issues of, of nationalization have been, have been raised. Well, the RAND uh, and the volatility of the RAND, I'm sure, must be something else that concerns CEOs uh, locally. And I'm sure it's something that uh, affects people around the globe, particularly in emerging markets where we have seen currency strengthening against the dollar and the euro. I is the volatility of the RAND a concern for local CEOs? I, I think the volatility uh, of the RAND is a real, the, the, just the position of the RAND is a wild card for anyone. Uh, and uh, it, it seems to be less of a concern compared to previous years. I think this year it's about 65% of CEOs are raising that uh, last year it was a lot more a lot more uh, but it, 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 that that is the wild card <laughs> the rand is the wild card in the whole equation how, how have companies adapted and perhaps changed and changed their strategy uh, following the crisis as they do look forward to growth? Is that something that they've been looking at? Have they been looking for new markets, new products, things like that? I, I think clearly they, they have uh, looked for new markets. Firstly, I think they see a lot of opportunities still in existing markets. I think 35% are still saying there's lots of opportunity in the local market. Uh, some are looking at, uh, at, at mergers and acquisitions. Uh, that's about 23% doing that. Uh, additional product uh, innovation and, and, and uh, uh, being more customer centric, I think that, that that's a big uh, development that, that, that's coming through, particularly as we see technology becoming a sort of a way of life uh, in terms of, of how people conduct themselves and live their lives. So, so there, there are those kind of big, big issues that, 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 that's coming through. Well, given the more positive three year outlook, would you expect uh, the survey next year to show even more confidence among CEOs? I, I think it will be relative in, in that particular year as to what the economic circumstances would be at the time. But, but I'm sure, you know, when we see with, with everything we're seeing, uh, uh, I think it should be more positive. As, as we see the Reserve Bank's uh, business cycle uh, index, I mean, it's, it's, it's the highest it's ever been uh, in, uh, since 2006. So I think that that's a lead indicator. And if that's indicating that things are going to be a lot more better, then that's, that, 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 that's an important indicator. The other thing is just when we look at uh, disposable income in, in, in homes, have, that's increased quite significantly compared since 2000. Uh, in, in constant terms today, uh, the, 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 the disposable income is about 32,000 rand. Uh, whereas it was about, it's, that's about 25% higher than what it was in constant terms in, in, in 2000. So I think there's more money to, to, to available. So I think that the people will be much more upbeat of the, oh, and, and we see that just getting better. Suresh, we have to leave it there. Thank you very much for braving the dismal Joburg weather to come and see us today. <laughs> it's a